Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today and today we are going to be continuing to learn about charting and plotting in Python using the library matplotlib. Today we're going to be going over bar charts, so bar graphs as you might have seen them in school and these can be cool in uh, you know presentations that you're putting on for school or work and uh, before we get started on that please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I release a video. I think we're at about 8,240 subscribers. We're pushing 8,250, so help us get to 10K, and we'll see uh, where we grow after that. So without further ado, let's get back into it, and today we are going to be making some bar charts in Python using matplotlib. And the first thing we're going to need for that is to import matplotlib. So from matplotlib, we are going to import pyplot as plt. And if you saw the last video that I did on making simple plots using matplotlib, this is the same plotting module from within matplotlib. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to actually need our data. And so what kind of data do you put in a bar chart? In a bar chart, it'll usually show uh, you know, some bars with a label on the bottom, and it'll tell you the frequency of items in that bar. So an example would be uh, numbers of, or colors of Skittles in a bag of Skittles. And then on the left side, on the y-axis, you would see the number of Skittles maybe in a bag that were yellow and the number that were red. And to make this a little simpler, I got some data ready for us, and the data we're going to be using is people's favorite juice. So I've just made up this data. Um, but here we have some juice names, and these are strings. So it's a list of strings. We have apple, orange, grape, mango, and kiwi. Those are the juices that we are going to be putting as our x-axis labels for our bars. And now we have the favorite numbers, or the favorite, sorry, the favorite counts. So this is how many people liked each one. And this has to have the same amount of numbers as the juice names has labels. So as you can see, 34 people chose apple as their favorite kind of juice, apple juice. Uh, 50 people chose orange as their favorite type, 15 chose grape, uh, 11 chose mango, and 27 chose kiwi as their favorite type of juice. So now we have our data. How do we display that on a plot in matplotlib? So the first thing we need is our figure. So we're going to do plt.figure. And then in here we can say fig size is going to be equal to a tuple, and this is, remember, our width by our height, so we're going to do 8 by 6 inches. And I think they do about 10 pixels per inch as the measurement here, so this will be an image that's 800 pixels by 600 pixels tall. So now that we have our figure, we can actually plot. And so what we are going to do is we're going to do plt.bar, right, for a bar chart, and here we're just going to say our juice names and then we're also going to say our favorites which is those numbers the amount of people that chose that juice as their favorite and we could actually run this as is it wouldn't show anything so we have to show it plt.show just like that and let's run it just to see what we have so far so so far you're gonna see a bar chart pop up and that bar chart has you can see Apple has 30 you know 34, it looks like, so, so it's up here, uh, 34, orange up here at 50, and then we have grape down here, mango, and kiwi. So we have all of our, our juice names here on the bottom x-axis, and then here on the left we don't have a label, but this is the amount of people that chose it as their favorite, but we don't have a title or any axis labels. So the next thing we have to do is add those labels. So under here we're going to do plt.title. This is going to be the title of our plot. We're going to say uh, favorite juices as chosen by my friends. There we go. So this is the favorite juices as chosen by my friends. The next thing we're going to do is plt.xlabel. And the plt.x label, so our x axis label, is going to be type of juice, just like that. And then we're going to need a plty label, so plt.y label. And that's going to be number of votes. 
So the amount of people that voted on that as their favorite type of juice. And so now when we show this one, we can do that again. It's going to pop up and there we go. It says favorite juices as chosen by my friends. On the left, on the on the y-axis, sorry, here it says number of votes. And then down here it says type of juice. And you can see apple, orange, grape, mango, and kiwi. So this is a very simple way to make bar charts in Python. And then the last thing I'll show you guys today before we end is how to save that as an image. Uh, it's very similar or actually exactly the same as I showed you in the video before. But here we can say plt.savefig instead of show. So now it's not going to show it, but it's going to save it. And we need to give it a file name. So here I'm going to make a string and say output.png. Right? And so now when we run it, it's not going to show anything. But instead, it's going to save a file right up here. And so you can see it says output.png. We click on that. And there we go. Favorite juices as chosen by my friends, number of votes, type of juice. And you can see that it saved it as an image. That's 800 by 600 pixels. And it's a PNG image, so you can put that in a presentation for school or for work. Uh, and again, you can just show it to your mom if she wants to actually see it and won't make fun of you. So uh, <laughs> there we go, guys. That's the uh, video for today. Like I said before, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos on Matplotlib. I'm going to make a few more of them with some other charts. So this is part two. Look forward to part three, four, and five maybe. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.